So we know we're going to play the improvisation from the end to get started. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion, Part 19, Paths. In today's episode, we re-entered uh, the idea of paths has suggested itself as a theme for our next composition. Um, we are declaring complete with the return composition and ready to move on. Uh, we've also been working on updating how we label our work two ways. Over here, this is Improvisation 1, which we're going to play for you later today. In the score itself, it says Improvisation 1, H, Hip, Hip the pentatonic scale three four four three seven ten. When you look at it in terms of um, continuous view, that's all we're going to see the title. When you look at it in terms of the pay, where we compose, it's got all this header junk up here. Well, that header junk is important because that is how we open files. We really need to know we've discovered over time that everything that's in the current series needs to have the header composing in motion, composing in motion, composing in motion. And if it doesn't, you know, then it's not part of the series. So anyway, not to make too big a deal of it, that's turning out to be important because when we get to sharing our work, we typically share it in what we call the continuous view. Another thing is revisiting and modifying previous work for new use seems to be becoming a thing. So what we did today is we returned to experimenting with live voice effects and recordings in um, our digital audio workstation. We have a very simplified example of that uh, here. except we can't play it for you because, why is that? Oh, we can do it this way. Options, preferences, wave out. Well, let's just do it again. I could insert a track. Testing, 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 test. I'm going to record. record. So this so is this recording, recording of a voice that's supposed, supposed to be used to for a reverb, reverb test. test. Like so that. This is, so this is recording. Okay. okay. And then and we're then going, we're going to, route to route it. it. Oh, we're done with you. And then this gets routed to reverb track. Now we play it. So this is a recording of a voice that's supposed to be used for a reverb test. So that's pretty cool, we thought. But what we're trying to do is talk live and do that. And so far, we've not had uh, luck with that. So it's kind of like, it's definitely a win. And and in particular, as we worked it, we, we've been researching, you know, how do you do the magic thing where the mic in your headset goes into the USB port through the black box of your computer and comes out through the same USB port to your head? And how can you route it and bus it? And so, interestingly, having the, the word paths be our title for day, we didn't associate with the sound card, but that is totally apropos which is a French word meaning it's like a glove. So we, we, the experiments are inconclusive but promising. We then uh, edited and recorded a short version of what we call Buddha's Lilt for recording, uh, for sharing especially, which is up here. 
the short version. And you heard us playing this uh, in a stream or two ago for our um, video editing work. But this time we really made it so that only the parts that are playing are visible. And we also um, shortened it so it only used the four clips that we used in the actual video. Uh, the, the actual original of this version is called short, is twice as, as long. And this is also where we again worked out our system for labeling. The file name is very long, blah, 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 blah. But the, in the score view, it only shows a title and the, and the scale that's being used. So we're kind of tickled with that. Then we decided to start working with uh, a new scale. And we kind of had to zoom in on what to work with. The, the scales in yellow highlight have not yet, had not yet been edited with. Well, 2662 is um, returning, which we finished. So we thought, okay, we're going to work on this one next. But we actually, <laughs> actually started working on this one too. The heptat heptatonic parallel is just a fancy word for the do-re-mi scale, which looks like uh, this. And this is the, this has the most chords of any of them because it's a, it's a, it's a 10 note full scale. However, in our previous concordance work in this series, we had identified that um, when we took all possible chords in our five pentatonic or eight pentatonic parallel scales and the do re mi scale, that there were 13 chords in the do re mi scale that did not, they were standalone. They did not show up anywhere else in, in these scales. So we thought, well, why don't we, uh, and here they are, here they are, here are the 13 chords. And when we say the Do-Re-Mi scale, you know what we mean. This, this is the major. Let's try that again. Yep. And minor. Damn it. And then the full 10 note scale. And anyway, so 13 out of the 120 so chords can be worked with. So we made an improvisation that um, uses those 13 chords, and we ended up with uh, eight lines like this. So what we're going to do is play that for you now, and here we go. So that concludes today's stream. What we like about this improvisation is having now made improvisations several times. Um, again, we were cherry picking from the available chords, but going by ear to put the cadence line together up here, then listening and picking out uh, a backbone line, and then re-listening and picking out a different polyphon line. That's what we call these things, the backbone and polyphon and also then annotating what kind of energy story is it telling. So this has a bit more of a, you know, rest, urge, urge, rest, traditional feel to it. So our ideas for next time are to share the work to date, which is Buddha's Lilt and Returning. Um, double check our improvisation for more ideas. 
And we do want to begin working with that next pentatonic parallel scale. We're not sure if we're going to spend a lot of time on this improv or not. We don't know yet. It is one of the four scales we we picked to work on in this series. So we will be coming back to the do re mi scale one way or another. And then we, we also generated what we called an ideas pending list. So live voice reverb is still in play and this other stuff. Tune in next time to see what happens. Uh, shout outs to Fabulous Life Productions, who's here again with evocative, provocative, good questions. Mr. Spatz stopped by again twice this week. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.